look at it this way. Bruce, always telling a lie. He's lived a lie his whole life about who he is. He begins transitioning into a woman. A doctor prescribes female hormones, estrogen. And remember, this is back in the 80s, 30 years ago. God, I've started on hormones. In the 80s you started? Oh, yeah. How much did you do? How long did you do it? I did it almost five years. Okay, here's what I got to say about this. As a trans woman myself, any trans woman will tell you, if you take medication, hormones, and testosterone blockers for six months, you are, you are unable to have children anymore. So what I'm what I'm talking about here is the children that Bruce Jenner had with Chris aren't his children. And I would make a wager of a hundred thousand dollars to say that those ch children are not genetically his. And how I would say that is look at his children. Look at the children that he had with his other wives. He was a very kind of uh, almost male model looking guy from the 80s. And his children, when you look at his children that he has now, the, his ones from his first wives, they're very hunky. They're very handsome. You know, they're very uh, male model, female model looking as well. And when you look at the Jenner children, the Cardassians, they look nothing like that. They look Armenian. They don't look like they're his. Kind of like uh, Michael Jackson, you know, with pillow and blanket, you know. They're two little goofball names. Those children are not Michael Jackson's, obviously. You don't have sex with a white woman as a black man and end up with white children. It just doesn't happen. You know, can't happen. So, I mean, it can happen, but it wouldn't happen with Michael Jackson. So... The children that he has, that he says he has, he had with his ex-wife, Chris, I'll guarantee aren't his. And I'll show you how. I'll show you in this video how. That's and since he'd been on those female hormones, he says he eventually had to say something. I'd been on hormones for five years, and it was a good solid 36B something. Uh, so you really can't, you know... You can't hide those things. And they are parents of a big blended family, including two daughters together. We're exchanging a baby girl in November. We're doing great. Aren't we, honey? Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. And his youngest, Kendall and Kylie, with their wife, Chris. Now, something else I'll point out, uh, the last thing. Um, Caitlin did a facial feminization surgery that took 10 hours and cost seventy thousand dollars something I would say I mean she said in the interview with Diane Sawyer that she didn't want any she did she didn't want to tell anybody that she was gonna get the surgery because she thought it was like really not not any of their business really it was kind of like not not something you should really talk about so shortly after this interview she went in and got facial feminization surgery and breast augmentation so I'll just throw that out there on the table for you. And here's what she has to say about it. Surgery, the transgender community asks everyone respect privacy and to steer away. 
But in this interview, Jenner freely talks about how he thinks about his decision. Once he was sure he would do it, laughing at what his smart mouth stepdaughter says. If you're living your life, female, okay, as Chloe would say, you gotta have the JJ. <laughs> You would identify as female, your driver's license would be female, your name is female. You're supposed to spend at least one year, right, in the gender. Yes. Uh, they're pretty lenient on that, but that's, that yes. is true. Two references, two referrals. Already got them. Most feminization, facial feminization surgeries are anywhere from about fifteen to 25000 If you look at the pictures of Bruce in the Diane Sawyer interview and Caitlin a few months later when the facial feminization surgery had been done you might notice that there's not a lot of change in the face what you will notice is she has breasts but one of the biggest things that I would say is in the United States, the average cost of a gender reassignment surgery is fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars. Also, you have to be on hormones for at least a year to get the gender reassignment surgery. In the interview with Diane Sawyer, Bruce was in the kitchen and she asked him how long has he been on the hormones at the time they did the interview which would have been in November or December actually and it came out like two months later after they did all the editing so at that time he said he had been on hormones for a year and a half already it also means he has money for good medical care during his transition cosmetic surgery first you do the face, breasts you know, all that kind of stuff. He has now been back on hormones for a year and a half. Now you'll see in this part of the interview that they're talking about the sexual reassignment surgery. He says that his daughter sa says that uh, if you're going to be a woman, you have to have the JJ. And she says you have to live as a woman for a year. That's the that's what they say you have to live as a woman for a year and then you have to have two referrals you have to have two people to referral he says in the interview he already has those which tells you when she went and got her facial feminization surgery chances are she got her gender reassignment surgery because a common problem that you'll see when people get their surgery is they get very they get a lot of anxiety you know there's a lot of stories uh, I used to live in Trinidad Colorado which was the sex change capital and Dr. Biber was the person there that did all the uh, first sex changes and he's the one that made the uh, hospital in Trinidad Colorado and there's a lot of stories from that time where after they would get their sexual reassignment surgeries they would drive them to like DIA and this is down in Trinidad so they drive them to DIA to to uh, take the airplane and they would tell the person that was driving the cab or the van or whatever to stop and they lots of these people would get out and they would just like tear their clothes off and run around and just go nuts and they would just they like couldn't believe that they were finally women or whatever and they just you know they have this crazy anxiety that went on and you hear the story where she was in facial feminization surgery for 10 hours well if you look at the face the face of Bruce in the interview and Caitlin a couple months later there's not a lot of difference there the hair is done that's about it and some makeup there's not a lot there she does have breasts obviously that she went and got a breast job but they do that a lot at the same time. There's a lot of people that get sexual reassignment surgery and breast augmentation at the same time and facial surgery. They do three surgeries in once. Now facial feminization surgery doesn't take that long. Usually it takes about two to four hours at most. So sexual reassignment surgery takes 
four to five hours. So if you put those two together, and you put like, maybe she didn't do much surgery at all to her face, you come up with 10 hours. So my other claim uh, that I would say is she's already had her surgery. She had her surgery last year in February or January or whenever it was, you know. Maybe she got it for Christmas for her birthday or her Christmas present or whatever, you know. But lastly, what I'd like to say is most people know, most people will tell you, transgenders, if you're on hormones for longer than six months, you're sterile. You can't have kids. You're done. That's it. And unless you save your sperm, then that's about the only way you could have kids, is if you saved your sperm. I would, I would say, judging by looking at uh, Brandon and Brody, which are Bruce's kids from his second wife, and Bert and Cassandra, his first two children from his first wife, and then looking at Kendall and Kylie, you'll notice that the resemblance, the resemblance isn't there. Especially before they had the uh, facial surgeries, because they've both had so much facial surgery they don't look anything like they used to look. So, if you, if you look at the way they looked when they were children, you'll notice that there's not a lot of resemblance when you look at old pictures which I may show at the end of this video, I'll probably will, I'll throw some, I might even throw some in the middle of this video and stuff so that you can see while I'm talking about this stuff. Um, the resemblance between Bruce and his kids are pretty evident when you look at his first four children. The resemblance between him and Kylie and Kendall are, uh, is almost non-existent. And I'll also put up another deal here that uh, I, I found the other day. Um, apparently, from I'm, I mean, this isn't confirmed. I, I haven't confirmed it, but it, I found a picture. I found a meme that showed this. From the meme, from, from the meme, uh, I want to point that out. It shows that her husband, her ex-husband, or he's dead now, her ex-husband, was defending O.J. Simpson, which was apparently her boyfriend, after she left, uh, you know, after he left his, you know, wife and then decided he wanted to go back with her. So she was apparently dating him while she was with her husband who was you know defending him O.J. Simpson and in the courtroom picture in the courtroom they took a picture she was sitting next to Bruce So, she was in the courtroom with three people that she was having sex with at the same time. So, that's, you know, I'd just like to throw that out. That, I, like I say, I can't confirm that, but it looks really suspicious when her husband is actually... Uh, defending O.J. Simpson and she's sitting in the pew and just behind him next to Bruce her new husband very very strange so I'll just throw that out there but yeah but like I say that's I would say from what you can see <clears throat> then and now Kylie and Kendall are not Bruce's children they're not Caitlin's not their father, you know, so I'll just throw that out there and you guys talk amongst yourself and uh, I'm not hating, I'm a transgender myself, I'm just trying to say these are, these are the facts as I see them 
and you guys can mill about yourselves and uh, think about what I've said. I, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this, uh, the fact that she was on hormones for five years before she met Chris, and then they had two kids after that, once he stopped taking the medication. You know, she said she stopped taking the medication and then she had kids, two kids, which any transgender will tell you if you've been taking, if you've been taking it longer than six months, it wouldn't matter if you stopped or not. You're not having any kids. You have like a, a one in a, you know, 600 million chance of actually still being able to have a child after that and the other thing that you might she in the interview Bruce says that he thought their sex life was pretty good but he found out from Chris after the fact when they did interviews with Chris that she actually didn't think their sex life was very good well the thing is is when you take hormones your libido drops and also the size of your penis and your balls both drop. So your penis size is smaller, your balls are smaller, and your sex drive is non-existent. So take that into consideration as well. So I'll just throw that all out there. Mill amongst yourselves. Thanks for watching. Share, like, and subscribe. Got any questions, leave them in the section below. I'll try to throw anything I, I need to throw down in the description section. And uh, have a nice day. And I would do it so quietly, nobody in the world would ever know. I am not shooting any of this, I'm not filming anything. To me, it's very degrading. At this point, as far as the term SRS, sexual reassignment surgery, would be down the line. Uh, but, you know, down the line. So, yeah.